So this is a short video just to show some usage recommendations on how to attach and detach the battery from your kit. As you've seen, the batteries come with this double-sided adhesive, so you can just peel this off and show the adhesive part here. Then to attach it to the board, of course, you can put it in any way you prefer. We usually like to put the batteries centered on the device so that it becomes nice and balanced. You can run the wires here through the side so they become a little bit more practical. And then the connector, there's just only one way to put it. So the black wire needs to face the minus signal and the red wire needs to face the plus signal. Uh, and the connector only has one way to be put to right. So as it is now, the battery is uh, attached to the device through the glue. Uh, there's no nothing hanging uh, and everything is nice and tightly packed. If you turn the device on, of course you see the LED fading, which means that the device is powered. In case you need to extract the battery, either to replace it by another model or for uh, any other reason, uh, please take care. Don't push the battery hardly because you may break some components out of the board. Avoid using sharp objects as well because that may jeopardize the, the connections or it may cut something uh, that it shouldn't be cut. Uh, there's a nice trick to it, so you have to jiggle the battery like this a little bit. You see that the adhesive starts to wear off. And then once it starts to wear off, you can pull it gently without uh, doing too much strength. And there you go, the battery is out. You will see that there's some residue that may be left either on the battery, on the board or on both. This is quite easy to take off. Again, don't use any sharp objects. You can just use your finger and roll it off like this and then uh, you can just take it out and the board and the battery will be nice and clean, okay? Regarding the um, unplugging from the JST connector, you need to take care in order not to pull from the wires because uh, in some cases they come off and, and so then it will be harder to use the battery afterwards. There's always something that you can do which is a pair of tweezers or an accessory to gently pull the connector out and then you just have to take it off and the board is uh, disconnected and without the battery attached to it.